If we focus our acting on global politics, we can change everything instead. As actors, it is our responsibility to read the newspapers and then say what we read on television like it's our own opinion. Matt Damon. Well, here we go, friends. Day three of election chaos. And it's very interesting watching all of these tards in Hollywood and these idiots on Twitter. They think that they've won and they're still really upset. They are still whining and crying. Holy hell, the amount of salt that we're getting before the election is even finalized and you idiots think you're winning is fucking delicious. I mean, we're going to end up having a sodium overdose once Orange Man gets out there and wrecks these idiots in the court system and gets all of these fake ass ballots tossed the hell out and you guys are like, oh shit, he landslided us. How did he do it? Oh, the white supremacy of America has never been higher. That's what they're whining about right now. They are trying to, within their head, they're trying to work out how the hell did Donald Trump, this man, a racist they've been telling us for four years, how did he get 70 plus million votes? Well, I guess we're all racist. They are quadruply down on the low racism situation, which is fascinating because Donald Trump has record high approval rating with black and brown voters. I mean, this is how we were able to stomp your asses in Florida because the black and brown vote came out and overwhelmed you idiots on left. And they're still right around. Well, it doesn't matter. Everybody who voted for Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Even the black dudes? Well, they're like the worst white supremacist. <laughs> yes. I mean, holy shit. The mental gymnastics that you must be uh, jumping through in your own heads to sit there and frame this worldview that black and brown people are white supremacists because they voted for Donald Trump because it doesn't fit your narrative is astounding. You guys on the left are mentally incapable. You guys are broken. We we absolutely destroyed you in 2016. And wait till you wait for wait till you get that two scoops in that second term for 2020. You idiots are going to be on suicide watch. Well, let's go take a look at some of these Hollywood tards ringing and screaming into the void. Boys, we're over here at Breitbart. Actress Janelle Monet says, Fuck every American. White woman and black man who supported Trump. They should burn. Well, that's very interesting. Just right off the bat with this title. I'm a little bit confused in Twitter. Can you explain this to me? I thought that women were part of your protected class and you couldn't say anything mean in that direction. Especially telling them that they need to burn. That you want to kill them. That they should be murdered for their political persuasion. Oh, oh, I guess it's fine because they're white women. So attacking white women's totally fine. Being white gets rid of your protective nature on Twitter. Okay, good to know. Whoa, 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 what about black dudes? I know black dudes are definitely a protected class on Twitter because of slavery and everything. It, it, it's fine if a black woman attacks black dudes based on their skin color on Twitter. Oh, okay. All right, I guess, I guess trying to, to work out the policy enforcement on Twitter is a little bit sketchy. Maybe we should just move forward. Janelle Monet, who starred in Hidden Figures, a story celebrating the crucial role, everybody, of the sexual orientation, the genitalia, and the skin color of NASA mathematicians during the space program, tweeted this out the day after election. And it says, Fuck Donald Trump and every American citizen, celebrity, white whammon, black man, etc., who supported him. Burn! Burn, you motherfuckers! Wow, what an absolute galaxy brain we're dealing with over here. Hey, idiots on the left. This is why we mock you when you get your political point of view from Hollywood tarts. This woman's an idiot. This chick's got a lukewarm single-digit IQ. Right off the bat, she's telling you, fuck every Trump supporter, every American citizen that voted for him. Who else is voting for him? Does she know something that we don't know? Does she know that Chinese nationals are voting in our election? And she's calling them out. Oh, these fucking Chinese people voted for Trump. No, idiot. Um, only American citizens can vote for this dude. You stupid bitch. But anyway, she goes on. She says, every celebrity. There are no celebrities voting for Trump. You all have the derangement syndrome. You all have AIDS. Don't worry about it. And then goes on to, you know, racially accost white women and black dudes, etc. who supported him. Hey, you idiot. How does your worldview shape up to, oh, I don't know, this article from CBS. Black men shift slightly towards Trump, but in record numbers, bull show. That's right, idiot. 
They're not all racist. Everybody who voted for Trump is not a racist. I know that you want to keep running around. I know you libtards on the left with your mental illness want to keep running around and call them black dudes, white supremacists, but it doesn't line up to reality. You have to understand that you've been played. You've been gamed. You're gullible and you're stupid. That's why you'll listen to anything that MSNBC tells you or CNN or CBS. Even when they tell you that, oh, they sh uh, black people, like they shift slightly, but in record numbers. Record numbers. Yeah, record numbers. This is how we were able to steamroll you idiots. Black people came out for Trump. Hispanics came out for Trump. Latinos came out for Trump. Asians came out for Trump. East Indians came out for Trump. Everybody came out for Trump. The only people who came out for Joe Biden were dead people, illegals. And that's about it. Angry feminist white bitches. That's also probably about it. But no, these idiots in Hollywood read and scream it. Read you fucking racist. Especially you black racist. Absolutely incredible. I mean, here's Wesley Snipes. The closeness of this election is showing just how many decided racism is, quote, not a big deal. You're, you're talking about record numbers of black and brown people, Wesley Snipes, you moron. They're clearly not racist. And here's Josh Gad, a dude who looks like a fucking toe. He's telling everybody, there can, like, only be two truths. Biden is going to win this, and 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 America has shown itself to like literally be the most dangerously racist, pathetic, and more willing to vote for hatred than their own lives. But but at least we can get to fight another day. And what's fascinating is none of you idiots believe this. None of you. Wesley Snipes, Josh Gad, this Janelle chick. None of you idiots believe this. If you believe this for a second, you just got a, a quantifiable number. 70 plus million Trump supporters. If we're all racists, how is this place at all functioning? Why is every single one of these, these hate crimes that you guys publicize so much, why are they all fake? Why do you guys need to manufacture hoax race crimes all of the time if half this country are racist? Shit, this place so racist. Our blacks and our browns are racist. Our gay people are racist. Everybody's racist. Is everybody racist or are you fucking stupid? I think, I think the answer is obvious. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> you idiots on the left with your authoritative check marks, you tards in Hollywood, you kid fuckers in Hollywood. I wish that you guys would be this upset in Hollywood with all of the rapists and kid fuckers that you are about these racisms is everywhere, but you're not. I guess you guys are fine with that and you Wayfair cabinet owners, but we see you. And we're going to be mopping up. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. Support you. If you want to be kept up to date with the TDS of Hollywood tards, even when they think they're witty, they're still whining and crying about the racism everywhere. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.